Sean makes a really good case for why you should meet your heroes. Dreamy. He's the greatest. If you love Sean Hayes, you gotta come see the show because he pretty much does everything but show you to your seat. Hi, I'm Sean Hayes. Hi, this is Emily Burgle. Hey, it's Ben Rappaport and you're watching the new hip show that everybody's talking about. B-Way Show. It's all in the tagline. Anything can happen on live TV, and one night it did. Are we having fun yet? And that's so beautifully said. I really can't say more, but I will. It's a funny and dark play about one of our great entertainers. It's a funny and heartbreaking show about the greatest wit that you've never heard of. Oscar Levant is a remarkable, irascible, compelling character to spend time with. You can come in just knowing nothing. Oscar was a frequent guest of Jack Parr's yeah. on The Tonight Show back in the 50s and 60s. He was like kind of a punk rock star of his generation. The show really sets up who Oscar Levant is in a wonderful way. He started his career as a, as a musician and ultimately became the highest paid concert pianist in America. A raconteur, a wit, a human. He was an incredible virtuoso pianist, and he also bared his soul on live television. I think people can expect a lot of laughs, um, tears will be shed, I think. It's nice to be in a show where you, where people enjoy it so much, and, and people are moved. People will come up to me afterwards with tears in their eyes. If it's not from the material, I'll go around and like step on your toe. <laughs> Part of why I love doing this is history and yeah. research and being a nerd about that stuff. And what's exciting to me is they are going to find him in 2023 as startling, unnerving, deliciously funny. I just consumed like hours and hours, night after night, mm. week after week, month now at this point, month after wow. month of Jack Parr, Jack Parr, Jack Parr. As audiences did in 1958, he has lost none of his capacity to uh, amuse and alarm us. It's fun, it's a blast, it's been a blast. We all get along so well, we laughed together backstage and the audience just eats it up. Focusing on the work and then absolutely screwing around and trying to not focus on the work as much yeah. as possible. It's the funniest and warmest rehearsal room and that's because of Sean. For whatever reason, we all have the same sense of humor. So we get along famously. Then there's the person and the person is a dream and Sean makes a really good case for why you should meet your heroes. He's funny, we all know that. He's also really generous and he is very authentic. He's being embodied by one of the most brilliant and genuinely nice human beings on the planet is an added joy. Put all that aside, as a pure actor, what the man does in this show is Herculean. I'm the luckiest person in the world. I get to say Doug Wright's words. Doug Wright wrote the play. He's the most incredible writer. If there are fans, hi, so my phone number. You're gonna be so excited to come and see this. Sean is wonderful and surprising. No, no, don't no, give it up, no, no. I hope you see Goodnight Oscar, check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. I said you, sh no, I you, you don't, said, I thought you said do. A laughter of saving graces is that it always rescues us from pain and Oscar rescued himself every single day. It's okay, this happened, this has happened before. You could say it's a saving will and grace. Exactly, well done. I see you, thank you for seeing me, and I will see you after the show. And I'll see you at the show. Book you on a late night TV show. We'll see you at the show. Thanks for watching b -Way Show. Please hit that subscribe button across social media so you too can become a theater insider and watch videos you won't see anywhere else. See you at the show.